Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture we will talk about identifiers in Java. Here is our outline. We will talk about identifiers, we will talk about naming rules, and we will see some examples on legal and illegal identifiers. And finally, we will see that Java is case sensitive. Let's get started. First of all, what are identifiers? Identifiers are the names that identify the elements in a program. For example, the names of classes and methods and variables. All of these are identifiers. So have a look over here. My name, my job, say name, and main are all identifiers. All right? So they are the names of our classes, methods, and variables. Now let's talk about naming rules. So every identifier must obey some rules, all right? First of all, an identifier can contain letters, digits, underscores, and dollar signs. We cannot use anything other than this, all right? For example, my name one, my name two, my dollar are identifiers, all right? Now every identifier must start with a letter or an underscore or a dollar sign. It cannot start with a digit and it cannot contain spaces. So for example, these identifiers are okay. They start with a letter or an underscore or a dollar sign and they don't contain spaces, all right? But these identifiers are not okay. They start with a digit or a weird character and they contain spaces, all right? And finally, if we want to make an identifier, for example, if we want to give a name to a variable, this identifier cannot be a reserved word. So it cannot be, for example, main, class, string. These are Java keywords, all right? So we cannot create an identifier that is the same as these keywords, all right? Now let's see some more examples on legal and illegal identifiers. This identifier is legal because it starts with a dollar sign and it contains digits, all right? Also, this is legal. It starts with a letter and it does not contain spaces or weird characters. And all these identifiers are also legal, all right? Now let's have a look at illegal identifiers. For example, this identifier is not legal because it starts with a digit. Also, this one is not legal because it contains a weird character, which is the plus sign. And over here we have a space. So Java will not know that this name is a one word. It will think that this is a word and this is a word, all right? So this will not work. Also, these identifiers are not legal because they are reserved keywords in Java, all right? Now let's talk about case sensitivity in Java. So have a look at these four identifiers. As you can see, they are the same, but the only difference is that we have small case characters and uppercase characters. So what we need to understand is that case sensitivity is important. So a small letter is different than a capital letter. So these four identifiers are different. They are not the same. So we can have a variable called area like this, and we can have another variable that is called area like this, because these are different identifiers, all right? Another example, a capital X is different than a small X. Also, main with a capital M is different than main with a small M, okay? Now let's have a look at some tips. Always use clear and descriptive names. For example, suppose that you want a variable to store the number of students. So call that variable number of students like this. And remember to use the camel case convention. And if you want a variable to store the username, call it username, all right? Like this. Avoid using abbreviations. So don't use numstuds or uname for number of students and username, all right? This will make your program hard to read and understand. And finally, don't use the dollar character when naming identifiers. Of course, if you use it, you will have no problem. But it is better that you don't use it, alright? So this is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.